Okay, so here's the setup. This is a Greenworks 40 volt um, weed whacker head worn out, pump knob where the um, string comes out, where it attaches to the weed whacker. Here's a $40 replacement on Amazon pump knob where the string comes out, where it attaches. And as you can see, that's pretty worn out. Um, and it's funny that that part wears out so fast. So this is actually the same part. This is just worn out um, part of ways. So if we open this up, we can see, well, first off, um, you can see there's a ratcheting action here where the string winds, and then when you bump it, it lets a little bit of string out. So if you can't bump it because this is all worn out, then the string's not gonna come out. Luckily we got one, two, three, four parts, and then we've also got um, this part here. There's the knob, all worn out. So set these to the side. Let's see what the replacement looks like. Once again, ratchet action. There's how the string stops. And then when you bump it, it lets a little bit out. So here we go. We got similar setup, same setup, in fact, but much less worn out. And so, should you have to buy these three parts to replace this one? These four parts, sorry, to replace this one? No. So what we did is we measured carefully this bump knob, got all the dimensions, and even how it interfaces with this piece. Like that. Nice and stiff and how it comes through here. Good fit. There's a little bit of wobble, if you'll notice. There's a little bit of wobble there. Um, not much. And then when this is all put together, there's a little bit of wobble there. Not too bad but it all comes together just fine. So what we wanted to do is make this one knob and hopefully have it not wear out that fast and also make it so you don't have to buy all four parts when you want to replace it. So we took these measurements and measured all the different diameters, thicknesses, all the depths that this goes into with this drawing and also this drawing to make sure that it interfaces with that notch just right. So four and a half millimeters long. This is eight millimeters high. I have right there the eight millimeter mark. And voila, came up with this prototype. So this spot right here is represented by this. And then this piece right here nests right into there. And you'll notice, if you're looking carefully, you'll notice it's just a little bit taller. So if we take these two, you can see just a millimeter or two taller, no big deal. We rounded this edge a little bit, rounded the edge in there. But actually in the final print, this is very hollow, but in the final print, you'd have a lot more solid material. You could print this entire thing solid. You'd probably use, I don't know, $4 worth of filament and instead of having all these hollow pieces that wear out to look like this, you would be able to wear 
all the way down to here and you'd still be wearing out solid plastic. So if this is mostly solid, you'll have that advantage. So how does it work? Snug in there, still rotates fine, but there's even less wobble. And then fits onto there really nice. Very little wobble. And you still have the ratchet. The ratcheting action. Oops, I think this slipped off. There we go. Still the ratcheting action just fine. So once we spring this all together. It'll bump it, and it goes backwards, or you can wind it. it. Sticks out just a little bit more, but this is really a good start. And here's the inventor.